guys, how you doing? Chef Mick, welcome to Cooking for the Boys. Today is, it's chili out there. We're gonna make chili, it's a basic chili recipe, and we're gonna make cornbread. Make sure you have something on because chili tends to get messy and I don't want you guys to ruin whatever pretty stuff you're wearing. All right, we have uh, our chef coat on. We need a hat. So let's get our hat on right now. All right, guys. Now, here's the deal. We're gonna start with the cornbread. Cornbread's gonna go in the oven. We're gonna make the chili, pull the cornbread out. Bam, we're ready to eat. This is really quick. It doesn't take long. You're really gonna enjoy this, guys. I need to play cameraman again, once again. So you're gonna have to put up with the camera moving while I aim it towards my work area for the cornbread. Okay, make sure your oven is preheated to 400. We're doing the cornbread at 400 today, guys. We're not making cornbread out of a box. We're not making cornbread out of a package. We're making cornbread from scratch. So if you'll hold on, here we go. Dun, dun, dun. This is my work area. And that's my table. My table's very messy. Let's not look at my table. There we go. That's better. I don't want you looking at my table. All right, guys. The cornbread. You start with cornmeal. Okay? That's what this is. This is cornmeal. It goes right in here. This is our mixer. I'm using a uh, paddle attachment today. Not the whisk. I'm not worried about putting air into it. Then it wants flour. You're better off if you sift the flour. You don't want any kind of lumps in it. I did not sift mine, but if you can, then do that. All right, then sugar. Now sugar is a very important part of cornbread because we like our cornbread sweet. Salt, always put salt, guys. And baking powder. Baking powder, not baking soda, which is what you put in your refrigerator also to keep it fresh. Okay, so what did I do? I threw all my dry ingredients together all at once. All right, in fact, I'm going to move this up. I'm going to mix my dry ingredients around real slow while I get my wet ingredients together. Here is milk, okay? Now, that calls for a cup of milk. But as you're going to find out, I'm going to put in a few extra ingredients, and I might need a little extra liquid, so I put in a little extra milk. Now, it also wants oil. Uh, it called for a quarter cup of oil. Go ahead and throw it in with the milk. That's not a problem. Okay, this whole recipe is on my site. Uh, if you go to the recipe page, you need an egg, one egg. Now I'm gonna mix all the liquid together before I put it in with the, with the uh, dry ingredients. Now, I like oil, but I prefer butter. I prefer butter inside my cornbread, so I don't have a problem putting room temperature or very soft in the butter. As you can see, it's very soft in with all of this stuff right here, okay? Yes, this is gonna be a little more liquidy, but you're gonna find out why in a second here, okay? So all of this is together here. And then we're gonna put it all over here. Mix it real nice and slow. We don't have to throw it in all in at once. Let it go in. And all we're gonna do with this guys is make sure it mixes really well, that's it. This is basically ready to go. Once it's mixed really well, it's ready to go. But I like to throw corn into my cornbread, actual corn. You can use cream style corn, but I like to throw in whole corn, whole kernel corn. Wow, that's like a tongue twister, like a rubber baby buggy bumper. Whole kernel corn. I don't need any more liquid. So I want to drain this stuff, okay? I want to drain it. I don't need the liquid that comes with it. So let's drain that. And I don't need a whole can of corn in there. I really don't. You know, I just want to throw some of it, maybe half of the can. Mix it up. That's why I use the extra liquid. That's why I have a little extra milk. I have the butter in there. And then this are fresh jalapenos. Red and green. Well, the red and green, they're both jalapenos. The red one's just been sitting out longer. And I'm going to make a little bit of jalapeno cornbread today. So let's throw that in there. All right. Now, as that's mixing, 
I'm going to get my pan. Today we're using a, hold on. Today I'm going to make them in little muffins. If you're going to use a little muffin, you don't need to cook it as long. It's going to cook quicker. But you still need to spray it down. You still need to spray it down. I don't know if it's going to fill up all of them. So I'm just going to spray the first few of them. And then I'm going to take this off. Take this off. You can see it's very liquidy. If you don't, if you don't like the consistency, if you think there's too much liquid, add more flour. If you think uh, it's too dry, add more liquid. It's very, very simple. Okay. I like it. I'm going to leave it the way it is. It'll firm up really nice in the oven. Let's get rid of this. And then we're just going to drop it in to each one. Now. I would do this a little neater. I'm trying to do this for the show, so it may not come out as neat as, as you would like it to. But believe me, I'm going to drop it and spread it into each cup. Okay? And yes, it may burn a little bit in between, but we'll be fine. And it looks like this thing has, uh, I'm not sure how many cups, how many little things, but I need some more. So I'm going to spray some more of them. Spray them all. All right, and then let's finish putting it in. And yes, I know this is messy. I, I, I've already said that I know this is messy, and believe me. But this is also quick and easy, and I get to make sure they're all even. And wow, this is beautiful. This is going to work out just great. Now, we've got the oven preheated at 400, because that's what we're baking at. Because we're doing it in these little muffin pans, if you're doing a 9 by 9 pan, it wants it in there for 20 to 25 minutes. Okay? I'm not doing a 9 by 9 pan, obviously. I'm doing a little tin of muffins. I'm going to show it to you in a second. And uh, so I'm going to start it off at 15 minutes. That might even be a little longer than what we want. But uh, that's where I'm going to start it off at. And then go from there as far as if I think it's done or not. All right, I know this looks messy. In fact, if you like, I'll, I'll clean it for you. Some people. I know, I know, I know, I know. Okay, clean, 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 clean. Okay, that's as clean as I'm going to make it for you today. I'm going to show this to you real quick. Check this out, guys. See, my muffin tin. You can see the red. You can see the green from the jalapenos. You can see the corn. And these muffins are going to turn out great. We're going to put them in the oven. Get back to my workstation and throw them in the oven. I'm going to move you around. Hold on. Oven time. How long did I say, guys? I said 15 minutes. I'm going to start at 15 minutes. So let me put my timer on. Cook time. Start 15 minutes. Cook time. All right. Here's my other workstation. And we're going to start on. We're going to start on the chili. All right. So. We have this. This is this is just a nice pot to put chili in, to make beans in, whatever, okay? Whatever size you need. This is going to be probably be bigger than I need, but it's the one I'm going to go with. I want to make sure I have the right one on. You need oil, okay? Just enough to coat the bottom. Now, the, the meat, the meat I bought, the meat I bought, and let me see if, I, if you'll see it when I put it out here. Ground beef, ground turkey. I don't have ground pork because the store did not have ground pork and I wasn't going to ground my own right now. So ground beef, ground turkey, they go in at the same time. The beef is an 85-15, so it's got 15% fat basically. So it'll have enough fat on its own, but I wanted to make sure I had oil in there because the turkey comes with no fat. That's, so if I don't have oil in there, the turkey is going to stick to the bottom and burn. All right, so you can mix them. If you want to mix them together here, like you would if you were doing, if you were doing a, um, a meatloaf, that's cool. Okay? But when you put them in there, you're going to break them apart anyway. So but this way, you, you know, there's a little more mixing. What I have is basically almost a pound of each. Now, there's only two of us, so that's way too much food. Okay, we probably could have gone with half a pound each, but 
what I'm going to end up doing is uh, I'm going to end up, after it cools, I'm going to end up freezing some of it. So therefore, making extra doesn't bother me anymore. Okay? Now, we've got to get this brown. we got to get it brown. We have cornbread in the oven. We're browning the meat. And as we're browning the meat, even though I want the meat a little more brown, I don't want the meat already well done. I'm not trying to get the meat cooked to make tacos out of it. So I don't want to wait here and cook until the meat is completely brown. So then we throw in onion and garlic. Remember, the garlic I use that jar. If you want to do your own, that's fine. Onion I cut up, and they go in here. Onion and garlic. While the meat, before the meat is completely brown. Okay, mix it in here. Let's get that stuff going. And already it smells like something we want to eat. Now, I've got this on high. I want to lower it a little bit. It doesn't have to be on high, guys. You do not have to cook everything on high. I moved it down to almost medium right there. Also, don't be afraid to use salt and pepper. This is my salt crock, so put some salt in there. Even though we're throwing some other spices in there, salt and pepper are your basic spices, and that's what you really want to put in there. So let's throw some salt and pepper. The salt's going to help draw out most of the moisture on the meat anyway, and on the uh, onions, and it'll really help with what we're doing. Now, I'm going to take, I'm going to move the camera for you right now. Give me a second. I'm going to move the camera because I want you to see what happened in here. Okay? I want you to see that as much oil as I put into this, the bottom of this, and I, here we go, flying camera. Dun, 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 dun. The bottom is already, see, it's already drying up here. So there's really not a lot of grease in here. It's moisture being released. So even, so even if uh, you, uh, let me put this back. Da, 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 the flying camera is back where it goes. Okay, the, the flying camera is back where it goes. And uh, we'll go back to this. Now, let's talk while, while this is still browning a little bit. And I may have lowered it a little too much. Let me go a little higher. Let's talk uh, spices. Okay? This is a chili powder. Basic chili powder. That's a good spice. But the spice that really makes chili is this right here. Ground cumin. Comino. Ground comino, ground cumin. This makes the chili. This might heat it, but this makes it taste good. Now, you may see something like this, which is a chili mix. It comes with different seasonings already in it. There's nothing wrong with this. But this is them telling you how to make it. So I don't use it. I tell you how to make it. Now, if you want extra pop, don't be afraid to throw in some crushed red pepper. It really, really adds pop to it. It's a different little taste, but it's not enough to throw off everything. So let's start with comino. Do not be shy on the comino, on the cumin. Don't be shy. There's no need to be shy. Okay? We want a good amount in there. We want all the meat to get it. We don't we just want a little part of the meat to get it. We want all the meat to get it. So let's make sure we put that in there and move it around. Do not, do not be shy, guys. Comino is good. Of course, if you want to be shy on the chili powder because you're worried about how hot it might get, okay, unless you buy a chili powder that says it's extra hot, you, you're going to be good. This is just going to be flavorful, not, not hot, okay? But if you find one that says extra hot, then I would worry about how much I put in, you know? I mean... There's one thing to have spicy chili, and it's another thing to have chili so spicy you can't even eat it. Okay, I don't do that. I like my chili with flavor. I like the smell of the chili powder, but I like the flavor of the comino, and just enough spice to make you, well, to make you want to drink water and stay addicted to it, basically. So, let's throw a little more comino. That was a good chili spice, though.
That's a good chili spice right there. All right, more comino, but my wife actually likes it spicier than I do. Now, what you'll see here, this is just a different chili powder. You can see it's a little redder. And uh, then this one, this one's dark. This one's red. Somebody was calling on my phone. I already have two people on the phone. I didn't need to add another call. So I'm going to throw some of this other chili powder in. It's almost empty anyway. And there we go. Oh, this. I know, I know they haven't created it. Maybe that's what we need to work on. I'm sorry that uh, that uh, Steve Jobs is, is gone. But we really need to work on smell of vision here. And uh, so you can smell what I'm doing. Here we go back with the flying camera. Bum, ba -dum, ba -dum, ba -dum. And that's what it looks like right now, guys. Look at it. Look at how wonderful, how brown and dark it's getting with the comino, with the chili powder. Now, so, like that is great. But that's not what we're making. That would make a decent taco or something. So now let's talk about this. This is tomato sauce. Now we're throwing tomato sauce down here, in here, and we're going to use a whole can of this tomato sauce, okay, to help add to the flavor. This tomato sauce has some salt in it, but it doesn't have any sweet to it, okay? So don't expect it to be sweet because you put that tomato sauce in there. It's not. If you want sweet, you can throw in sugar. If you want really sweet, you can throw in uh, ketchup. I'm not going to do those, either one of those right now. Okay, but I am going to fill this with water and drop a little water in here. Use the rest of the sauce, clean out the can, put a little bit of water in there. And then I'm going to put in whole peeled tomatoes. Now, whole peeled tomatoes, let me pull one out for you, is exactly what it looks like. It's a whole tomato. They've been peeled, but they've also been stewed, so they come fall apart pretty well. And they add great texture and great look to your chili, and also great flavor. Now you can take your knife, or you can take your, in this case I have a special in here anyway, uh, and you can break these tomatoes in half, cut them in half, and, and you know, stomp on them a little, chop them up a little bit. And then you have parts of the tomato, the inside of the tomato just floating around, you have, you know, Parts of it all smashed up. It looks great. It looks great. It smells great. Okay. Now we just want that to go. Now, right now is the perfect time. Right now is the perfect time to figure out: Do I need? Do I need more spice? Is it hot enough? Okay. The meat is cooked. We have we added tomato sauce. When we add kidney beans, we're not changing the flavor of it. So let's taste it now. That's delicious, but I want it hotter. So I myself, you know what? You know what? I'm gonna do what I told you guys: crushed red pepper. Make it a little bit hotter. Okay. Now the crushed red pepper, you don't really need a lot of. That'll really make it nice and hot. Okay. Crushed red pepper, some extra chili powder, but. Uh, the taste right now is a nice mild chili, and if you like it, you know, if you feel, oh, maybe I need some more salt, then put more salt. If you feel like you need more of anything, put it in there. But right now is the best time to do it, okay? Right now is the best time to do it. Now, I'm going to show you something, and this is something, you know, that some people just don't understand. You didn't see me add, here's the flying camera. You didn't see me add a lot of liquid, you know? I added the tomato sauce and a can, the small can of tomato sauce, the small tomato sauce can full of water, okay? So there's, this is fairly liquidy as it is, okay? If you want more liquid, that's not a problem. If you want more liquid, that's not a problem. Hold on, here it goes back, there you go. If you need to add more liquid, then add some chicken stock or some chicken broth. Okay, I'm not going to, because I don't feel like I need to. I think it's got enough. If you think, oh, this is too liquidy, you want it thicker, then as it's cooking down, make sure you add 
a little bit of, where is this? Make sure you add some cornstarch. If you think it's got too much liquid, throw cornstarch in it. Okay? The cornstarch, as it's heating up, will uh, will thicken it. Okay? I, don't, I like it the way it is right now. And uh, now, because of that, I'm adding beans. There is a huge debate, and I'm not going to get into it, that if it, is it really chili if you put beans in it? Okay? Most people will tell you, at least the people at Chili Cook-Offs will tell you, you don't put beans in chili. I put beans in my chili. Kidney beans is what I like, dark red. You can put white beans. You can put pinto beans. You can cook them at home and add them yourself, or you can buy them in a can like I did. I bought them in a can, but I also drained them. I don't need this liquid from the beans in there. I drained them. And then I'm going to add the whole can. And there you go. I, I like chili with the beans in them. But now, so what are we going to do now? Okay, well, it needs to heat through. Not just the chili, not just the chili powder, but the beans need to heat up. It needs to sit here and heat all the way through. So we're going to leave it here for a few minutes as it heats. <clears throat> we have two minutes left, <clears throat> but we're going to check our cornbread before the two minutes is up. You know what? Let me show you what my cornbread looks like. I'm going to take another flying camera. Dun, 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 dun. Cornbread looks like that. Now you can see how it's nice and cooking through. You can see it separating a little bit at the top of each one. And uh, that means it's going to cook all the way through probably in those 15 minutes. And that looks pretty good, guys. The cornbread looks really good. I'll pull it out in a minute. The chili is cooking up really nice. It needs to heat through. That's all it needs to do. And if you wanted to do anything else, you can you can add you can add uh, that. Um, if you want to add something else, you can have like cheese on the side, and it's going to be great. Again, uh, a lot of people, and if you go to like these giant chili cook-offs, they're going to tell you chili does not have beans. And they will not, you know, if you make a chili with beans and try to enter it into these big cook-offs in Texas and stuff, uh, they're not going to accept it. You're going to lose automatically. So, you know, chili is just supposed to be the meat that's been stewed for a long time with the spices. And then beans, if you're going to eat them, are going to be served on the side, not in the stew itself. And, and I'll agree with that. I just don't like to do it that way. I like... I like chili and I like beans in my chili when I'm eating it. Uh, unless I'm using it on a chili dog, then the beans just get in the way. Uh, and then, and that's it, guys. We're gonna about to wait. We've got eight seconds, seven, five seconds left for my cornbread. I'm gonna show you the cornbread one more time. The chili is gonna be done here in a few minutes. It just needs to cook through, guys. It really does. And uh, like I said, if it's too liquidy, I hear you. If there's too much liquid in your chili, Throw cornstarch in it just a little bit. A little bit goes a long way when it comes to cornstarch. You don't want to throw a bunch and then end up having like chili, like a big old paste of chili. That's just going to ruin it for you. A little bit at a time. I cannot see whenever I open this thing. Now, remember, I made it messy. And you can tell that I made it messy. But this is the cornbread. Okay. I made it messy because I put it down there and then I spread it around and then and then that's how I did that. Okay, this is the cornbread. I don't know if I can even get one of them out, but I can try. Ah, uh, look at this. Just they just happen to be hot, hot to touch. Look at that. Now, isn't that a beautiful little piece of cornbread? This is something that. And I made, I don't know how many, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five. Is that six times four? Is that 24? Okay, so I made two dozen. Okay. And when you're feeding, well, only two of us, I think two dozen is going to work just fine. <laughs> and uh, so that's your cornbread, your chili. You got to cook this until the beans heat all the way through. And that won't be too much longer here. I'm going to turn it down because... We don't need it 
boiling over. We don't need it popping around. We just need it there. Okay, guys. Oh, I, mean, I, I don't know if you can hear it, but I know I can see it. And there it is. It's still just cooking through with cornbread. That looks great. And now you're back to having to look at me. Oh, well. Too bad. So sad. All right, guys. I'm Chef Mick. This is Cooking for the Boys, a uh, Revolution Studio production. Or Revolution, I should say. I just made the biggest mess I've made all day. This was going just fine, and I decided to stir it, and I make a mess. This is why we wear coats. This is why we have aprons. Because some of us don't know how to do this without making a mess. I had a uh, thank you to Dario and Duran. Both of them on the phone with me right now. Talking to me, being my uh, producer, my editor, my, uh, what is that called? Uh, <laughs> answering all the questions and being my eyes and ears on the internet. My social media gurus, I guess is how I like to say it. And, and that's it. Well, you know what? I'm going to serve a bowl just so you can see the bowl serve. How's that? Wait right there. I need a, uh, I need a, uh. I need something to serve it with. Watch this, guys. Now this, again, I was asked earlier, why would I just make a basic chili recipe? Why am I not doing something more elaborate? Because I believe that teaching you this will help you make up your own mind on how more elaborate you want to get. Do you want to do it with just turkey? Do you want to do it with turkey chili or chicken chili or, you know, just pork? Do you want to use more? Do you want to add extra things? I'm showing you the basics. This is cooking for the boys. I want everybody to be able to cook the basics and uh, we'll go from there. All right, I'm Chef Mick. This is cooking for the boys live. This, and let me move the camera for you, this is chili and cornbread. And this is going to keep us warm. This is wonderful. This is going to be, first of all, it's delicious. Second of all, it's nice and warm for these cold weather days. And uh, remember, I'll be back next Wednesday uh, remembering Pearl Harbor. We're going to do so, some more Hawaiian cooking. But not the same, uh, not the same kebabs and stuff that I did. Uh, it'll be a mahi mahi tuna uh, with um, a nice, maybe a mushroom risotto, uh, maybe some asparagus. We'll we'll figure it out. It's gonna be it's gonna be. You're going to go from this, which is a very basic, to something that's very nice and, and much more elaborate. If you know how to cook, guys, you can marry for looks. If you know how to cook, you can marry for looks. I'm Chef Mick. This is Cooking for the Boys. Thank you all for joining. Thank you for interacting. We love you guys. Bye. Thank you.